U.S. President Joe Biden has introduced a new immigration policy that allows the administration to ban asylum seekers who enter the United States illegally. Well, the policy which takes effect at midnight on Wednesday includes exemptions and can be turned on and off. Beyond's correspondent Susan Terani gets you more details. Take a look. President Biden has finally acknowledged that there is a crisis at the U.S. southern border, but his executive action may be too little too late. I've come here today to do what the Republicans in Congress refuse to do, take the necessary steps to secure our border. Democrats say his order effectively closes the door on asylum seekers and will likely be challenged in court. He also needs congressional funding. But voters and his top donors wanted to see action. Frankly, I would have preferred to address this issue through bipartisan legislation. The president's move comes after months of inaction and a failed bipartisan border security deal, which collapsed due to Republican opposition, saying it wasn't strict enough. Now this executive order is being seen as a political gesture rather than a genuine solution. It's window dressing. Everybody knows it. If he, if he was concerned about the border, he would have done this a long time ago. And we don't know what's in this. The devil will definitely be in the details here, I can assure you. The details of this executive order are important. For example, the federal government currently doesn't have nearly enough personnel or detention space to rapidly deport everyone found ineligible for asylum under this order. So many would likely still be released in the U.S. pending an immigration case to determine their status, which could take months, if not years. Poll after poll shows that the majority of Americans disapprove of President Biden's border policies, spelling trouble for him in an election year. Presumptive Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump has made tightening border control one of the main pillars of his bid for a second White House term. So the question is, will the president's actions truly address the root causes of this crisis or merely perpetuate a broken system? Time will tell. Susan Carfani reporting from New York for We On World is One.